Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So you can see by the title, I'm back with another video on a new product. You know, you gotta give it to Laura on these powders. You don't really hear much about Laura Mercier, like throughout the year, she drops a little products, you know, you get a little buzz foundation, concealer and stuff like that. But every time she's launched a new powder, a new shade of this setting powder, the community starts buzzing again. Like that's how you know a product's got longevity. If you guys did not know, although I mentioned it a few videos ago, Laura Mercier is launching a new shade of the ever so famous, iconic, translucent, translucent, loose, setting powder yes um in a shade honey i have it here so i figured i would test it out um and see what it's looking like on the skin so if you guys want to see that then let's go. i only have one press on left i'm just waiting for it to pop off because i don't want to waste you know acetone removing that so if you notice that that is why um but i have here the new shade honey on top and then on the bottom i have the translucent medium deep shade i just noticed that there's it's two different um I don't know if they switched their branding, but you, you can actually, I'm pretty sure you can notice that it's two different like logos, um, two different colors, stuff like that. So I don't know if they went through a rebranding, but just pointing that out. Um, funny thing about the PR kit. So, you know, it's translucent setting powder. Baking is something that's commonly thought of when thinking of setting powder. So I'm looking at the kit and I'm seeing baking, I'm seeing cake. I think they're just going with a theme, right? I opened another box that was in the PR kit. It was actual cake mix <laughs> that they sent in the box. They sent honey. I like when brands, you know, throw a little razzle dazzle in there. They they sent honey cake mix. So I will test it. I'll let you guys know how that goes on Twitter or Instagram. But let me open these two up. So here is the honey shade and this, yes, yes. This is the honey shade. This is medium deep. You can see the shade difference in the uh through the packaging they each retail for 39 dollars. let's see if there's anything new i need to point out the number one setting powder now in the shade honey for medium skin tones laura's best-selling translucent loose setting powder honey sets makeup using a unique custom blended peach pigment that brings life to the skin 16 hour matte finish weightless texture true color wear no photo flashback available now in three shades translucent honey and medium deep okay all right so i'm just going to quickly concealer foundation now for the powder i think i think you guys get it i'm going to use honey in my t-zone I'll be right back to take this off or dust. You guys know what I mean. And just to dust this off or pat it in. I feel like I do both. And then I'm gonna take just a little teeny tiny bit of medium deep and go over honey, just so you know, it's not, not like headlights under my eyes or wherever I used it. I am digging the finish of my face today. It's giving me very, you know, I spent $300 on a facial, even though y'all know I'm not leaving my house anytime soon this year. And I'm dead serious. People are like, you want to hang out? And I'm like, no, what are we going to do? Cough? No, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm really not leaving my house anytime soon. But look at that. I feel like I got the, the appearance of facial skin. I didn't leave my house. All I had to do was try a new product. I go back and forth on if I like the laura powder as much as i used to like i feel like back in the day like that was the powder you know how like the the beauty blender that was your moment when you finally spent that 20 dollars and got the beauty blender i feel like back in the day that was the laura powder when you finally spent the like, 35 that it used to be somewhere around there back in the day like you were that girl and i feel like you know it kind of feels out. Like everyone has their new favorite powders fenty uh uh, pat all that stuff but every time i come back to it i'm just like you know maybe maybe you really are still that girl and i think um i'm digging it uh, uh the the new shade honey because i like that undertone in my uh, especially under my eyes you know i like that highlighted look but not too highlighted not too bright which is why like i wouldn't use the 
translucent shade anymore um and not yellow like yellow yellow banana type powder that's also why i like the fenty powder because it is a yellow banana powder but it's not yellow you know it's like a like a, a beigey cream type of color so i think that's why i like um this honey shade as well and then you know like going over your face again with medium deep like i just i just like this whole finish that i've got going on today so let me quickly you know swatch the two shades so you can see what um honey and medium deep look like on my skin tone so here is a swatch of honey and if you want to see that in comparison to fenty ooh, come on fenty this is what Fenty's banana shade looks like. So Laura has a little bit more yellow in it than, funny, since this is, an, uh, it's called banana, but Laura has a little more yellow in it than Fenty, but they're pretty much, you know, uh, in the same family of tones. Um, so really, I feel like it'd just be a difference of which one do you want to mattify your face more because they both claim to be matte but i'm telling like when i tell you fenty is matte matte fenty is matte matte like one of the reasons people don't like the fenty one is because it's so matte and if i had to pick if i'm going for that day where like i need oil to not show up okay you're not invited to the party i would go with the fenty one but if you want one that's matte but you know not going to do do that much like matte but like soft matte think soft matte then that would be laura so i feel like that would just be the difference if you wanted to pick between these two and this is what medium deep looks like and right there is medium deep and that is it for this video you know just a quick little demo of the new shade because again like i feel like everyone has all the knowledge that they need on the powder itself because it's been around so long um i can remember when i did the video on when medium deep came out it feels like it's been five years since then it's probably only been like two or three um but i feel like you know everything that you need to know about this powder so i was really just doing like a demo of what the shade looks like on my skin tone and my thoughts on it and my thoughts are that listen she might she might come back into rotation the two shades together because i i am feeling my complexion today my makeup complexion i feel my complexion every day okay so um i hope seeing this little quick demo helped if any of you were thinking of checking this shade out for yourself um anything else anything else i can tell you touch price swatches demo no i guess that is it so make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i'll see you on the next one bye